so here we go. The bus is home. Time to begin. Figured out the easiest way is to get in the back through the step stool here. And my first job will be to remove all of these seats from here. I don't know. So this is goal number one. And they look kind of kind of rusted in. So I'm going to try a socket first. If that doesn't work, and go with an angle grinder. See how this goes. bus reno update. I now have a cool bus and inside the seats are out. The floor is ready to go. I'm leaving rubber here because it's very utilitarian and it's in great shape. So I painted all the rub rails a hammered metal. I took the school bus or the stop sign off and I painted the bumper because we took the hippie sweeper off. So if anybody needs a flashing stop sign or a motor operated swing arm, AKA hippie sweeper, let me know. So it's not going to look a whole lot different, but I did this. I put the floor in. That looked pretty sweet. So I'm working on the walls right now. So I'm building the walls out. And I have one bathroom wall done. Notice it's a funky angle because the mattress needs to tuck underneath there. So it gives you more elbow room in the bathroom. That's where the bathroom's going to go. And I have my bed all laid out. So it's going to have the ability, if I can do this, it's going to have the ability to lift up. You see all my junk in there. There's my electrical. Electrical all wired in. That was a lot of fun. So that's all storage. I'm going to put um, gas struts or pistons or whatever you call those things in there. But, sorry that was loud, there's the bed. So the bus is wider than your standard mattress, so I have this much space left over in the bed, so I'm going to put like a little headboard storage thing there. So I haven't quite figured it out yet, but that's what that hole is all about. And I am absolutely loving this floor, I think it looks so sweet, so I'm excited. Okay, so here's a bus update. I have my seat in. It's not bolted down yet, but it's a Silverado seat. Then it has the integrated seat belt. 25 bucks from the junkyard. It's on a little swivel base, so I can turn it and face the camper. Here is my refrigerator cooler that runs on DC. Shoe cubbies there. I have my kitchen set up. So these are the bases for the kitchen. That's going to be my sink. That's my water supply. I'm going to put a little hand pump on it and then it'll just have a easy to remove gray water. This is more cabinetry that's covering my wheel well down there. The bathroom walls are up. The walls are up. This is going to be a voltmeter. It's going to have voltmeter. It's going to have a DC plug and USB ports. So that's that and it's got a little shelf to put your cell phone up at the top. Here's the bathroom walls. The bathroom wall is now up. I'll cut to fit the curve of the bus. I have to put the back wall in, put a little platform, put the porta potty on that. And there's the bed you've seen before. 
This is what it looks like. Looking forward. Hey, okay, more of my junk. So that's where we're at. So here is a bus update. I have the dinette put in. It will have a table that will fold down into a bed. This has storage underneath. I lost my outlet, so I'll have to get a new one. The bathroom. This is the bed area with the headboard put in. These slide up for storage. They came off my old camper. This is dirty laundry. I have my one outlet in and ready to go. Oh, it looks like little eyes. Here's my kitchen. My kitchen is done. So here's my stove. Here's the drawers, and here's the sink area. I have to put it all together. Here is the cooler, shoe cubby, and that's how the cooler is going to power. I have USB, and I have a cigarette lighter. So that's where I stand so far. All right, maybe someone can tell me what gives. Here is my fuse. Here's the box. It doesn't fit. It just it won't go in. I looked on Amazon. There was no instructions that came with this particular little fuse box, but um, it says it took medium-sized fuses. So I bought medium-sized fuses, and they they don't fit. So this is the little marine box. So. I don't know, maybe I should get marine fuses. I googled and googled and searched and searched and I didn't find anything. So if someone can help me out here, what kind of um, fuses fit in here? None of them fit. They just fall right out. Ah! Okay, this is my bus tour. Come on in. I put a junkyard chair in here that swivels around. I replaced the dash here, put a cabinet in up here, left all my switches right here. Made a storage box right here. Cooler sits on it, so does a trash can. This is my bed. So this folds down right here. It's just a spare bed. And that's how that works. Lots of storage up here. Some DC lights right here. This is my power supply with a USB and a cigarette lighter. Here I have my bathroom, just a porta potty. I had to angle the wall so I used a whole full window here. Here's the bed. Put a headboard in as a backrest so you can sit up and read. So there's storage in here, dirty laundry in there. I have another power outlet up here. USB and cigarette lighter and a reading light that I installed over here. The USBs are kind of handy because I can plug little USB fans in. This is my stove. 
more kitchen storage right here. My sink, which is nothing more than a salad bowl and a hand pump right here. Underneath my gray water and water supply are just little jerry cans and a one pound propane back there for the stove. My fridge is right here. It operates on DC. It actually is a freezer. So it has pretty good space in here. And then there's a shoe cubby underneath. And that's pretty much it. This is my bus. And it's all done.